Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the rumpled one. Um, you know, people ask me for my email address. I'm not sure why. Okay, it's Wednesday, February the 20th, the year 2019. Let's talk trading, how to trade like a pro. Focus like a pro. Now, most people have an idea what focus is. They may even have an idea how to do it. But the problem is, or the situation is, they don't put it into practice. I mean, when you're trading, you have a bunch of other screens open, you have noise going on, maybe the news, maybe a squawk box or two, thinking that somehow that's going to give you an edge. Is your desk clear and all you do is, or does it have a bunch of papers and other things to distract you? Is your phone off? I mean, in other words, do you set your environment up so you can focus? Or do you set it up so you get distracted very easily and you lose your focus? And it even goes a little bit deeper than that. I mean, when you look at your chart, do you have so many indicators on the chart you can barely see price? I mean, what are you focusing on? I mean, we call it chart porn or charts on drugs. I mean, they're works of art. They really are. But as far as tools, I don't think so. I mean, how can you focus when you're charged just a mess? So, but there's even goes deeper than that. I mean, what are you saying to yourself inside your head? I mean, is it focused or is it just a bunch of random thoughts? I mean, are you just going here, there, everywhere? I mean, what is it that you're doing when you're sitting there? I mean, really, next time you go to trade or next few times, I want you to just really pay attention. I don't want you to change anything. Just pay attention to what you're doing and you might have an aha moment. Because if you're focused, then you're on track. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing when you're supposed to be doing it and how you're supposed to be doing it. Many traders are not like that. And they're all over the place. Somebody asked the question uh, if they had a problem, you know, system hopping. They're not focused. I mean... If you think about it, most of the problems with trading are personal problems. You can blame the broker running stops and all that kind of nonsense if you want. But if you know that happens, then why are you putting your stops in a place that might get run? Doesn't make sense, does it? Or why don't you wait till after they run the stops for you to place your trade? I mean, you can, it, you know, you can see a stop run, if that's what you want to call it. You see that big, long spike, and then it comes back the other way. Well, why don't you just wait for that to happen and take advantage of it? But see, if you're not focused, then you won't pick up on things like that. And, you know, that's how the other day, I think I told you, when I did my normal plan, you know, you put two trades on each half, this, you know, your normal trade size. So combined, you have your normal trade size. And you take your profit, 
at, you know, break even plus five. So you bank some profit and you move the other one up to break even plus one and they ran the stop. I said, you know what I could have done instead was I could have moved my stop and made it a little bit bigger and used some of that profit as a cushion. And then when they ran and then when it went back and hit instead of hitting my stop at break even plus one. It would have hit my stop and then it would have continued in the same direction and I could have maybe banked a bigger profit. Will that work every time? Of course not. Yeah, sometimes I'm going to give give back, you know, four of those five pips, but that's just trading. Just remember, focus on what trading is. It's picking direction and either you picked right or you picked wrong at the time. And so, I mean, price is going to go up and down. So if you pick up and it goes down and it hits your stop and it turns around and goes up, well, maybe your stop was too tight. But that's hindsight. Maybe, so maybe, hey, you entered the trade at the wrong time too quickly. Thing is, you just got the direction wrong. Because had it gone, had you picked short and it dropped, then you would have maybe banked the profit. So... Just remember that. So focus, focus, focus. What should you be focusing on, on your screen? <laughs> your money and risk management, right? You knew that was coming. It's your number one focus. Because trading is, you just, main thing is, is not to lose money or not to lose more money than you're willing to risk, willing to lose per trade. That, that's that's what you have to do. Set your risk and stick to it. You know, focus. Hey, look, we broke above the weekly high. We broke out of the upper wick zone. Now, what do we do when we get in a wick zone? We trade the breakouts. Somebody was saying they really like to trade breakouts. And so right now we're 21 pips above the high, but I mean, and night uh, the previous week's high 19. So there was a chance to make what 41, 40, 41 pips here on that breakout. Still two pairs haven't filled the gap. Now look, we're above the uh, yearly open, and we actually tested the yearly the. Uh, first day of the year high. Once again, broke above the yearly open. Look, now the first day of the month, we got above that in the high first day of the month. We just had broken above that yearly high once twice three times four times but it seems to be pulling back down and you can see here now we're above first day of january first trading day of february and you can see here we're getting ready to exit those two and Right here, the weekly inside bar of last week. You see, we broke out of that. So once again, these simple horizontal line trades that I show you every day are there. And once again, you could put these levels in ahead of time because you already know what they are. Or you could set an alert either way. Once again, out of the previous day's high, range 66, only two above 100. Pretty quiet for a Wednesday. Oh, I think uh, FOMC is happening later today. And here we go right here. Once again, yearly H1 highest open, weekly H1 highest open. You see there's a couple opportunities. Oh, and you see part of focus, 
I just focus on the one pair. It gives me plenty of trading opportunities. I don't have to go all over the place looking for the trade of the day. No, I just wait because these things happen on a regular recurring basis. And what happened here? We had a pivot that was just below the short zone. So really not too much of a bias, but had you trade it that way, either a couple of pips or a scratch trade. Here we had the buy zone opportunity and it just took off. Rat zone, here we go. Right here, Larry Live trade last time to get on the ship here 125 73 for a short missed the pivot pass weekly r1 here's weekly r2 at 2615 now we've got a couple of missed pivots right here a couple more for this year I wonder if they're going to stay missed. It'll be interesting with FOMC coming out. And here we go. I was showing you about those turn trades. Um, but we can go back to the H1. And you can see here. Simple price action, you know, one ball at the bottom, green at the line, one ball at the top, red at the line. I mean, people always say, well, this repaints. No, it moves the dots, you know. You know, if it makes a new high, then this dot's going to move. It's not repainting. It's, it's a live indicator. Wick zone, in and out. In and out. Gotta love the wick zone. Here we go. Previous op uh, daily, weekly, monthly open high low. Just cutting across horizontal lines again. Not a difficult trade. You can see here on the tick chart, we've just had slight movement down. Opened it. Here it says go short. Good for a few pips at the moment. I mean, simple horizontal. So, I mean, you could pick any of these charts that I show you, any of these ideas. Use one of your own. Just focus on it. Focus. Make sure you execute properly. Just like that monkey, a trained monkey, you do those things. Remove the distractions. Remove the distractions around you. Remove the distractions off your chart. Remove the distractions out of your head. Get rid of them. All those thoughts that aren't helping you. Just eliminate them. They need to go. And that way you can focus like a pro. Trying to remember frequency distribution, okay, range gauge, more frequency distribution, range. And somebody was asking me about this particular range. This was a, uh, this was in 2014, this was in 2013, um, but there's also, you know, range. Uh, frequency distribution indicators in 2017 and I think I don't know there was probably some in 2016 too okay focus because it's not what you trade it's how you trade it so go out there drain the banks like a pro